Welcome back to The Compressor Guru. Today, the guru will continue with the valve job on the ongoing 2545 Ingersoll Rand rebuild. The guru wants to make sure you see the entire valve job, so we have broken this episode into two parts. This part, part two, is the high pressure side of the rebuild. And now, the Compressor Guru. <clears throat> Thank you, Bill. So, we're now going to rebuild the high pressure side of the 2545. Uh, the customer put a plug in to keep any debris or anything out of the discharge side of the high pressure. I'm uh, going to take this center bolt out and it holds the plate on. We loosened this already when we took the uh, head off the compressor. We pre-loosened it. So uh, if you don't loosen it on the compressor when the four other bolts are holding the head in place, sometimes you'll throw it on the bench and go to do this and that bolt's a little tighter than uh, it is easy to get out when you're uh, don't have a way to lock down the head without putting it in a vise. <laughs> don't forget to hang on to your washers, especially the copper ones. Uh, some kits come with the copper washers, some kits go, don't. And you can always reuse these copper washers unless they're ragged or really bent. So I take my tr trusty rusty knife and pop the head back apart again. And it is time to clean gaskets. So we're going to clean up some gaskets. You're going to see me working in very high speed. I'm going to go into super guru mode and just tear these gaskets loose. And I realize most people can't move this fast, but thanks to technology, I've had enough body parts replaced. I can do that. Okay, we're going to take part the uh, uh, we're going to take the valve off the valve plate um, once again. The bolts go up from the piston side of the valve plate. Um, yeah, and uh, that way, if the bolt comes loose, it has to work a long ways till it comes out. And the nuts are on the top side. Uh, and I'm. Oh, I'm an idiot. I got I'm trying to get the bolts loose, but the nuts on the other side are still attached. So now I'm going to have to flip this over. You're going to see that in a moment because Bud's an idiot. The guru's the guru. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah. Aren't you glad I'm going back and dubbing this in because I, my, my language there, well, my language is okay. I really try not to use coarse language. Anyway, I knocked the nuts loose on the other side. Now taking the bolts or fasteners out. They're so small, I don't know if you call them a fastener or a bolt. But uh, anyway, there's... Uh, A short bolt in the intake on this one and then you got longer bolts uh, going all the way through whenever I tear these apart you'll notice that I am uh, keeping track of my bolts and I set them in separate piles one to the left one to the right and uh, I as I tear this apart you also see me taking great care and making sure I keep track of not only which bolt goes in which hole as I keep them separated, but as I take the valve, valves off of the plate, I make sure I keep them together and look and see which spacers and what uh, extra hardware goes with each valve plate. This sometimes matters, this sometimes doesn't because uh, these are factory OEM valve plates, and we're using an aftermarket kit. So, as I work in high speed, it's simply awesome to see this go. 
Uh, no, I don't work that fast. I'm old, fat, and arthritic. I don't move that fast unless I'm fast forwarding. Anyway, uh, so we're getting those bolts out and we're being careful. Whoop, there we go. Uh, that's our suction side. And notice I'm carefully inspecting and seeing what all went where on that. So if the next kit's exactly the same, uh, I know just what came apart and I'll set it apart just the same as it did. On any brand, whether it's OEM or aftermarket, they almost always give you a sheet that has a good diagram of where the valves go and uh, what the torques are for each of the uh, bolts. And you'll see here that I'm making sure I know what spacer goes with it, which valve plate. So the hardware is off. It's about time to clean up. We had off screen. I took and I did uh, my clean up of the plate. I can think you can see it's considerably shinier than it was. All the gasket surfaces are cleaned. Everything's cleaned up, but the gasket surfaces are perfect. So we're going to the intake side uh, again, which is the bottom side. And make sure we have our uh, fingers lined up on the holes so we can run the bolts through. And we use the uh, all the new hardware that came in the kit. And also, we got new bolts in the kit. Every time we rebuild heads for a compressor, we always give them the good parts. Uh, the, the good bolts that are left, the good valves, the good spacers. If it's not broken or wore out, we put everything in a package and give it back to the customer. Now, despite the fact they would need new gaskets, there's an occasion in here or there where these used parts will get somebody out of trouble when they're broke down and uh, new parts are uh, UPS red 24 hours away. So we're going back together. We're going to take and put our uh, thread lock in the hole. And we'll be putting our plate back in place and then running our bolts into it. Little commercial time. Uh, if you like the wrenches or the socket set that's off to the right in the screen, that's a gear wrench socket set. We do sell those. Uh, I will, that's a quarter inch drive set. It's standard and metric, shallow and deep. It comes with uh, a ratchet, a little hand thumb ratchet, a couple extensions and a universal. It's a really nice kit and it's less than $100. If you're interested, you can check out uh, my site uh, thecompressorguru.com it'll be in the description below and you can go ahead and order that so we're going back together with the um, valve plate this is the suction side this is the bottom of the plate and my big fat fingers are getting those tiny little screws started in the right place I should use fast forward here, but you're stuck with me. I could tell you a joke, but I'm not that funny. My wife's a funny girl. She's the one that's kind enough to do the intros, intros and the goodbyes. And she tells you to like and share. And yes, people, she is as fun and loving of life and real life as she sounds like on here. I was so lucky to catch her. I, you know, I, I kid around. I caught my trophy wife on the first time around, and I still have her. I'm a lucky man.
Anyway, I'm being very careful not to over tighten these valves. Once again, I am not using a torque wrench. Uh, the torque specs are in the directions. I've been doing this 41 years. I'm not digging out my uh, inch pound wrench uh, to put these on. Uh, if you don't, if you are not an experienced mechanic, or if you're a guy who always strips the bolt, get your torque wrench out to do this. Uh, you guys know who you are. So we're going on. We flipped over. We're on the top side. These are this is the exhaust valve plate with the spacer, and uh, which also has some extra fingers to give extra pressure onto the plates, and. We have a circle with four holes that goes down over the bolts. And then all we have to do is get these little tiny nuts on. And we are flying. Look at this. Boy, the guru really knows what he's doing. Yeah, I know. Everybody's laughing. That is the handiest little hand ratchet. Once again, these will go to exactly nine inch pounds of torque. Click, there it went. Click, there it went. Click, oh, no, click, there it went. Go back, re click them, re click them. We click them. Oh, perfect torque. Okay, wipe everything off. We are about ready to put the valve plates back on the valve, the top of the valves. Before I shot this, uh, these valves or these gaskets are very, very uh, finicky. They're they're very easy to break. They're very easy to screw up. They're very susceptible to uh, any uh, gasoline, fuel oil, any type of cleaner. Uh, what you didn't see when I was cleaning uh, gaskets is this: these were cleaned with uh, a brake clean. And if you'll see my hands now, they are exceptionally white around the fingers. I went in and washed my hands real good. I didn't even want the oil contamination on my dirty hands to mess these gaskets up. They are that particular, and those gaskets are uh, quite pricey. So you want to take the extra time and make sure you're good and clean before you handle these gaskets. If you over torque these gaskets, you will ruin them. If you don't torque them enough, they won't seal. Um, they work. They for how for how sensitive they are. I'm amazed how well they work. When they weren't allowed to put uh, asbestos in gaskets anymore, some number of years ago, uh, Ingersoll had quite the problem with. Uh, gaskets blowing out between the stages that uh, little center of the um, gasket that goes from one side of the head to the other in the middle uh, on the 242s we had warranty call after warranty call after warranty call for gaskets that were blowing out we came up with a solution that was a little bit less than orthodox but we were able to keep the uh gaskets from blowing out then they came with the out with these and i ruined a few of these learning how delicate they were but uh these work so now i'm putting the head bolt uh the center bolt back in and we're just putting this on tight enough to hold it hold the gasket and hold the valve plate in place to where the bolt holes are lined up for the final assembly uh, on the 2545 and we're going to snug it up with a actual ratchet this time and just snug enough to keep things from moving and there you go folks the high pressure side is done it's just like the low pressure side you just have to watch what you're doing a couple little rules 
Keep your hands clean, keep those gaskets clean, and the bolts go up through the bottom and put it together with the new parts just the way it came apart. Thanks for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Once again, Bud is never allowed to run his own camera. The next episode will be coming soon. Thank you for watching The Compressor Guru. Thank you for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from The Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.